In our study, we introduce a new approach for controlling wearable assistive robots for those with upper limb impairments. Individuals post-stroke and individuals living with ALS participated in a two-day study where they wore a soft wearable robot that uses an inflatable actuator to assist the shoulder. On the first day of the study, we trained personalized machine learning models with wearable IMU motion sensor and custom soft compression sensor data collected from a 20-minute guided session where we gave participants cues to lift, lower, and maintain their shoulder elevation while simultaneously moving other joints. The data collected during these sessions captured the unique movement patterns of each participant, allowing the robot to learn to distinguish between participants' voluntary movements and involuntary movements caused by their impairment. On the second day of the study, these personalized intention detection models were used to control the robot in combination with a physics-based model of the hysteretic relationship between the arm angle and actuator assistance. We'll now show examples of the controller's response as participants performed functional daily life tasks and single joint movements. In our first example, a participant is given cues for simulating eating with a spoon. The video of the participant performing this task three times is shown with animated plots of the response. In the first plot, we show the arm elevation estimated by IMU motion sensors and soft compression sensor data over time. The derivatives of these signals are some of the inputs to what is shown in the second plot, the intention detection model. The output classifications of intention are shown along with a ground truth intention label we assigned in post-processing. The third plot shows the actuator pressure over time which is determined by a combination of the intention classification and a physics-based model of the human robot system. In the final plot, we combine the information from the previous three plots to show the shoulder elevation versus actuator pressure. The current state will animate with the video and be colored by the intention classification. Three, two, one, lift. Your mouth, hold. Three, two, one, tilt. Hold. Three, two, one, up. Hold, three, two, one, down, hold. So we'll do it two more times. Three, two, one, lift. Hold, three, two, one, tilt. Hold, three, two, one, up. Hold, three, two, one, down, hold. One last time. Three, two, one, lift. Hold, three, two, one, tilt. Hold. Three, two, one, up, hold, three, two, one, down, hold, and we are done. In our second example, a different participant is given cues to flex and extend their elbow while simultaneously maintaining constant shoulder elevation. Okay, three, two, one, left, hold, three, two, one, out, hold, three, two, one, in, hold, three, two, one, out. Hold, three, two, one, in. Hold, three, two, one, out. Hold, three, two, one, in. Hold, three, two, one, down. Hold. We now show side-by-side -side comparisons of participants performing arm movements with and without robotic assistance. The videos show a variety of tasks and participants, both in lab and at home. The left side video shows participants moving with the controller turned off, while the right side videos show participants moving with their personalized controller turned on.